So you just spent countless hours building a website for your business or SaaS on high level, but it's not getting you any results. Even worse, you see a competitor with a worse product or worse service, and they have an uglier website as well, but they seem to be getting more results. How come? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you why so many of the high level websites that I come across convert at a low rate. But more importantly, I'm going to show you how to fix these mistakes so you can increase the conversions on your website and get more clients as well. Why your high level website is not converting and how to fix it. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly why some high level websites collect dust, meaning they don't achieve anything for a business while other websites, webinars, funnels, literally print money for a business. If you stick to the end of this video, I'm going to give you a free gift and I'll explain what that is at the end. Before I show you any examples or show you any websites, I want to give you a framework that's going to help us understand where the problem lies. The way that I like to look at websites is through these three stages right here. So we have traffic stage, trust stage, conversion stage. Knowing that we have different stages will help us understand what problem we have and where should we address that problem. There's going to be 10 things that I'm going to cover and these problems occur at different stages. So let's say you have a problem with your trust or with your conversions. You may get more sales by sending more traffic like jamming as much traffic as you can into your site. But if you were to just fix your trust or your conversions would make it so that the same amount of trust would get you higher results. As I mentioned, there's 10 things that I want to talk about and and the first one is that you're simply just not getting enough traffic. You have low traffic. To illustrate my point, let me go to high level right here. And if you don't know, if you go to sites analytics, you have access to different analytics such as page views, opt-in sales, conversion rates, and you can select what page specifically if it's a funnel, a website. Right now we're taking a look at a client funnel. This funnel was launched September 22nd. If I look at the conversions right here, we see that the first two weeks, the conversion was zero. Somebody might look at this and say, what's going on? Why are we not getting any conversions, especially since it's already been over a week since we first launched. However, if we take a look at the page views right here, we see that in that first week, only 54 people click on the website. So with 54 people in the website, there was simply not enough data for us to see if the website was actually effective. We see that as we started pumping more traffic over the site, we see that in that same manner, the conversions started going up. So in your business, the reason why your website might not be converting is because you simply don't have enough traffic. The next question that you might have right now is how do I address this problem? This is where your social media marketing strategy, your ads, your content, your outreach, SEO for our website as well will come into play to actually be able to know if the issue is something to do with your website or just something to do with the fact that you don't have enough traffic. The next problem why your high level website might not be converting is that you are getting enough traffic, but you have the wrong traffic on your site. To illustrate my point, let's say that I'm a marketing agency and I help painters, landscapers and other type of businesses like these get more clients. If I was running ads and the people that are seeing my ads is homeowners as opposed to landscaping businesses, what might happen is that a lot of this traffic that I am getting on my website is not the right traffic, which of course would lead into these visitors not converting on my site. This is making sure that the type of content that we make, the type of ads, the type of outreach, who we're actually sending this website link over is our actual target audience. So people that are qualified, that are looking for our services, that have the pain point that we can solve for them, actually come across with our website and not somebody that is not looking for our services. The next reason why your website is not converting is because you have an unclear value proposition. So let's say you're bringing a lot of traffic to your website and it's the right type of traffic, but when they land on your website, let me just show you an example right here, they don't know exactly how you can benefit them. So in this case, I'm gonna show you two examples. First one will be a yoga example. Let's say that somebody was looking for yoga services. This right here doesn't tell me too much about the actual benefit. Connect to the sweetness of life. It's very broad. Somebody looking for a specific outcome might not be compelled to book on the site. However, if we take a look at this website right here, we see that it says feel the burn and build healthier habits. This is talking specifically about a feeling, any benefit that a prospect looking for these services might be going after. And the fact that this image in the back kind of helps illustrate the point even further would make it more likely for a prospect or somebody that was just looking for yoga to feel connected and book with this website right here, as opposed to something that was not as clear and more generic like this. The second example that I wanted to show you is this right here. In this case, the multi-channel AI powered marketing doesn't mean really anything at all. Right now, I am not clear what they do by just just looking at the hero section right here, the value prop is not clear. This website right here is a lot more clear. I can see that it's something to do with chat HQ. So something to do with a chat widget, chat AI, something like that. But the actual key is that the value prop is very clear, better engagement, better results. 
as a business owner, this is something that might speak more to my needs, to my attention, to what I'm actually looking out of a chat, as opposed to something more generic and something that doesn't have a problem like this right here. The next reason why your high level website might not be converting is because you have a lack of trust signals, testimonials, certifications, case studies, social proof, and so on. To illustrate my point, I'm gonna show you two different go high level marketing agencies that I came across. So in this case, as I stroll on this site, there's tech services and so on. There's a lot of things that I would do to make this website better. But the main thing that I want you to take a look at is that there's no sort of social proof. There's no testimonials. There's no case studies. Even if this marketing agency had an insane guarantee, like let's say seven pre-qualified leads or you don't pay, the fact that there's no proof makes it very hard for a prospect to actually book a call with these guys. In this website, however, I'm going to show you a section. Let me go down here where it says real results from real clients. So let's pretend that this was actual videos of actual test case studies. The fact that a prospect can see somebody like themselves achieve the outcome that they want to achieve. So let's say from 3K to 12K or more jobs booked and so on makes it so the website is actually conveying what this business can do for the prospect. And as a prospect makes it more likely that I can actually trust this business and take the next step. I came across this other marketing agency on high level, which I thought was brilliant. First of all, we see the reviews widget right here. So we knew that these reviews are legit, which in this case, if I was a moving company looking for more leads would make me that much more compelled to actually book with these guys. Here we see the marketer with the business owner. So it just makes it seem like, okay, this is a legit company. This is somebody legit. We see some results right here and some stats right here. So if your business has been serving for so many years or has achieved some sort of result for clients, you want to make sure that you put that on your site so that it's more likely for a prospect to trust you since they know that you can actually deliver those results. Now for this website, even though there's a lot of things that I don't like, something that I thought was very powerful and I wish they would have put further up top in the page is that they have embodied the best yoga studio for these many years in the area. So even though their website might not be the best, as soon as I see something like this right here as a prospect i think wow if these guys have won the award so many years in a row it means that they must be a very good yoga studio the next reason why your high level website might not be converting is because you have inconsistent branding if we take a look at this page right here we see that there's too many colors and too much stuff going on it doesn't give me a sense of confidence that this is a professional company even when i take a look at the pricing plans right here because there's so many colors just too much going on the branding and design of the website does not inspire any sort of trust or confidence for me to take the next step. For this website, however, we see that the colors, the font style, the background, everything else is very consistent. As I go through the rest of the site, everything is very cohesive and consistent. And even when we get to this part right here, if we compare this to this, we can clearly see that this doesn't look as professional, looks very cluttered, hard to read. And instead, this right here helps convey to our prospect that we are a professional and consistent company. The next reason why your high level website might not be converting is because it's poorly optimized for mobile. So I'm going to show you that website again. Here you see that there's just too much going on, too much text. It doesn't even seem like this is properly aligned. And let's say that this marketing agency had a great ad, but the moment somebody lands on their site, it looks something like this. There's no clear buttons and it's very hard to read. You see how I need to scroll quite a bit in order to find the first button right here, which at the end of the day will hurt their conversions. In comparison, if we take a look at this site right here, a trick is that you want to make sure that you have your call to actions or your buttons above the fold. And what this means is that you want to make it so that when a prospect lands on your site, making sure that the button is there without having to scroll. At the same time, something that's cool is let's say as I'm scrolling down, the moment I scroll up, the button to get in touch appears again on the screen, making it very easy for somebody to be in touch, whether it's on desktop or in mobile. The next reason why your website might not be converting is because it has a slow loading speed. I've come across some sites that are very fancy, very like graphic, lots of stuff going on. But the thing that happens is that they take a long time to load. What you can do to check the performance on your website, so in this case, I'm going to do it on mine, is right click right here, hit inspect, 
and then here in this arrow right here you can select lighthouse and then here we're going to analyze page load so basically what i'm doing is i'm running an audit on my site and i'm going to get some scores so here you see that for the performance i have a high score meaning that my website loaded fast and you can also check for other things such as accessibility best practices seo and so on but this is a cool tool that you can use to see how the performance of your website is because the last thing that you want to do is have a beautiful website but it takes a long time to load and if it takes more than two three seconds a prospect that that clicked on your website just might click off and go to your competitor. The next reason why your high level website might not be converting is because you have weak or missing call to action. So again, going back to this website right here, kind of like what I was talking about before, if there's no call to action above default, it's going to make it so that the conversions go lower. In this case, even if I was interested, I don't see a clear place for me to get in touch. I have to scroll all the way down here until I see this button right there. For this website, it's the same thing. I see a lot of menu items right here, but I don't see a clear button that stands out if I was interested in booking with them. In contrast, this website right here has a button that pops, makes it very easy for me to actually get in touch or start in this case for free. And not only that, but I don't need to scroll in order to see that button. The button is above the fold, both here and here in the nav bar as well. Now, the reason why this is one of the most important actions that you can take on your website is because when you're building your website, the way that you structure it and the design decisions that you take will be one of the determining factors in making sure that you literally guide the visitors on your site to take the next step and become clients. The way that I like to address this is not only with the colors, but also by having concrete actions, kind of like what they have right here. So get started for free is very compelling. I suppose that if they had something generic like let's connect or inquire more, which wouldn't give me as much of a reason to click this button. Reason number nine is kind of similar or follows the same thread, which is having complicated opt-ins and checkouts. So I am on this site right here. And as soon as I click this button right here, I get taken direct Directly to the calendar where I can book a call. Let's say I pick a time right here. I see that I can just leave my information and schedule the meeting. Now imagine, let's say that I was ready to book my call right here and I got a pop-up with some sort of video or link to go check testimonials or my social media. I've now made it essentially harder for a prospect that was ready to book a call, put more obstacles between them and the action that they want to take. So when we build our website, we want to make sure that we look at the whole customer journey and see are there places where I'm making it harder for my prospects to book. And this could mean, as I mentioned, putting pop-ups in places where we shouldn't put pop-ups or at the same time, having a bunch of links to other pages when the customer is ready to check out. The last reason is that you have too many hoops for your prospects to convert. So this is kind of like what I was talking about already, having too many steps or too many clicks in order to get to the checkout. You want to make sure that if somebody is ready to buy, they click that one button and it takes them directly directly where they can book a call, buy the product, schedule the service and so on. As you're fixing your website to make it so that you have higher conversions, you might want to focus on different stages. So in this case, having low traffic or wrong traffic is in the traffic stage. The fact that you don't have any testimonials is affecting your trust stage or the fact that say that your website is loading very slow is affecting the overall user experience. Now, at this point, you might know the reasons why some of these websites don't convert, but you might have a little bit of uncertainty as to how you can actually apply this to your site. As I mentioned, I have a gift for you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link to this checklist right here. This has the three different stages for the system that I was talking about, as well as a section for the overall user experience. So with this checklist, what you can do is as you audit your website, so whether you're building it, rebuilding it, or you're just simply looking at your customer journey, you can take a look at these questions right here and evaluate whether or not you have optimized for that specific stage. These are not binary questions like yes or no. This could be somewhere in the middle. So it might be like, you know what, somewhat, but I could make it better. And these questions will hopefully make you look at your website through a different lens so that you can turn it from something that just collects dust into something that actually helps you print money. Now, lastly, if you're a digital SaaS agency and you have a website that is not getting you as much conversions, I have this website template right here, which implemented a lot of the things that I mentioned in this video. So click the first link in the description if you want to get the website checklist or the second link in the description if you want to get this website.